Hi, welcome to this new setup. We have installed Arch Merged and it's uh, almost the 1st of February 2018. I'm going to launch this version 6.4.1 by then. So this is not Arch Merge, but with a D, meaning you get a base installation of Arch and then you install whatever you want. And this is the new guy. Mate, or uh, probably I'll say mate from time to time, but the actual pronunciation is Mate. You know them from Ubuntu and from uh, Linux Mint and so on. So I've installed Mate on my system and I just wanted to make a tutorial about NeoFetch because some of the Arch merchants asked me, Eric, how do you do this? Getting a logo or a picture or anything near uh, to the site here. Well, the thing is, you can always have your own manual. So man NeoFetch will explain a lot of information. That's what I do as well. I need to read a lot of stuff. So you make it a little bit bigger so you can read. Quit again and arrow up man NeoFetch. And then you start reading and say, okay, look, we can put something behind it. So the option, this is the synopsis and eh? option, value, option, value, another option, another value and so on. As long as you want it to be. You want to disable some information uh, and so on. You just type it behind it and then you have uh, less or more information on or off. Now this information, you can do it uh, in here in your terminal, but I would not suggest doing that. The only thing I should, you should uh, do that is for the picture. And we're going to do the picture first since that was actually the question. So we have here image backend and we have source and we have the ASCII source, but you saw already the ASCII ser source. So that's these little uh, letters and things that you can see. We can open always another one and you neo fetch like so. So these O's and S's and all that, that's ASCII. Let's put them on the other screen. And so we can scroll down and see there's a lot of things we can change. Um, logo, hide info logo, when only show the ASCII logo and so on and so on. So without further ado, this image. So quit. There was something about image. Well, I forgot already. So moving back up. So scroll down and go to the image. It's called source. That's what I wanted to know. So new fetch. source you have to type it you can't press on tap nothing comes on source and then I know by heart that in user share backgrounds there's an arch merge and there we have wallpapers these are these are the standard wallpapers we could get uh, the first one it's angel I say okay take the angel girl and if you pop this in then you get this kind of result so anything you put in there will be uh, reformatted into a square because the picture is a, it's a big wallpaper. So the picture is smaller and it's also cut off or cropped. Or... So that's one thing. So let's take another exercise, another image. I don't know, uh, Earth view is dark. Let's take Cryptica. Now you see that it's actually the more the right side that we see from the image because that thing, the red thing, is actually in the middle of the image. So uh, it's cut off more or less. Now that's just some fun stuff, but where does uh, this application new fetch, where are the settings? The settings are in your file manager, control H, take a look in the .config folder and there you'll find the new fetch, this one. So here we have an image, but we can take this image then as source, probably as well one of the questions I remember, it's one of the questions. So right mouse click, open in terminal, arrow up, delete the source file, and see what you can do, like so. And there you have uh, the possibility to have this logo or any logo. For that matter, just put it maybe in your folder.config neofetch. Great place to put it in. Then, bottom line, most important one, are all the settings. So whether or not all these texts uh, show up, 
is defined. Let's put this one here. Is defined in a config file. We can open it with a lot of things. There is Atom, Mousepad, Pluma, a lot of things. Uh, you know, when I was working on Polybar, I used Atom because of pigments. Very easy tool to show the colors. For this, it's okay to open it up here. Let's put it down here. Uh, by the by, yep, that's Compass working. So I've installed Compass as well on this machine. You can have it too via the scripts. So let's have a look. Info title, info title, probably this, I don't know. Underline, ah, probably because this is an underline. And then the distro, distro, yep, correct, OS, kernel. So if I say OS Eric, it's gonna change. I don't know, just try, trial and error, that's how I learn. That's how anybody learns, even a baby. So OS Eric, fine, so I can change this text. Yes, you can. And these elements, distro and so on, are mentioned at the bottom. What is distro? What it, does it do, distro? And so the kernel, so anything you don't want to see, you don't, don't want to show the kernel to the people, just put a hashtag in it, on it, and then up, done, kernel is gone. Like you see, that's a way to quickly change your config file. What do you want to show to people? Even a song that's playing, your local IP wouldn't be a good idea, but the worst idea is showing your public IP. But for the rest, um, well, here you see what, what is defined in kernel. Kernel, shorthand, on or off. This is the on, this is the off. So you can change a little bit, some switches you can change. Anything interesting? Let's have a look. CPU speeds or more information, logical or physical. Oh yeah, okay. So there's the virtual core and there's the physical core, two cores. And then temperature. I like, I like actually this one. Temper temperature on, let's take C. Let's see what happens, save. Uh, where is it? 27? That's not much. That's okay. So I can't put anything behind it, I suppose. A little bit bigger. Just want to put C behind it. Ah, fine. It's already in there. Like you see, that's a great new thing I discovered by making this tutorial. Would you brand on? But I have all refresh rate off, so we can add refresh rate if you want to. Uh -huh. Public IP host, they use this website to know your IP. And we're almost in half, as you can see, it's it up here we are, and we can change elements. Bolt is on, on the line. So, oh, how would this look? If we say bolt is off, would it be nicer or not? Well, why not? Save. And then block range, okay, color blocks. So the color range, by the way, zero to 15. So there are seven by seven. So that's why it's now two lines and not one line, because normally we see one line. I've added it months ago. And this is where we define actually our logo. So it's not in your home directory, since your home directory is, is uh, different for everybody. And you just, just can't work with this sign, which I don't know in English, we call it tilde. But this thing cannot work. We need to actually have a hard-coded path. So I've put a logo in there. Here we have the cropping mode. That might be interesting for our picture. So image options, thumbnail, crop mode, normal, fit, fill. J 
changing this will probably have effect on my image I had earlier on. Normal center. I did not think that was center, but okay. This is how big the image is. If we say the image is way too big, let's take it. Uh, look at this one, no, at uh, that one for instance. That's, you agree, a bit too small. Yep, it's always gone when you resize. So this is 50. Fine. 250 again. 250 is this one. And we can crop center is normally the best way to do it. Maybe fill and fit and all that so we can try it so like I said it's a trial thing what's the difference between this look and that look and then we have to take a guess the y offset and x offset so this is x and this is y how much from the top how much from the right uh, left that's the offset Scroll this off. Okay, and there we are. So that's the main thing is just to change one thing, keep this open, Ctrl Z, save, and make it your own. So you have your own NeoFetch. And then it's up to you to keep track of your uh, file. So this file should be safe somewhere. You can put it on GitHub, Dropbox, OneDrive, anywhere, but not on your current system. All right, have fun.